Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for April 22nd to May 5th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you can do is click the join button below. And guys, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch. So what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about what's going on with your love interest. Whoever you turn on this video for, whoever you want to know about, we're going to assess the connection. We're going to see what's happening, what's the blockage, what do they need to make the connection work, what's influencing this, how do they feel about you, and then we're going to look at the time period of April 22nd to May 5th, okay, so what's going to happen there, and then we're going to jump on to our single reads, so guys, also feel free to check out the single reads, because you guys in the comments below have told me that sometimes either one or the other or both reads resonates with you, so feel free to check out both. All right, so let's jump right in. What's going on my Sagittarius is romantic love life for April 22nd to May 5th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What's going on my Sagittarius is romantic love life for April 22nd to May 5th? Sagittarius romantic love life April 22nd to May 5th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, and how does my Sagittarius's love interest, the one I'm here for, the one that I want to know about, how does my Sagittarius's love interest feel about my Sagittarius? Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Okay, we're gonna put that there. All right, so in the current situation, okay, so in the current situation, we see that there is a debate going on about love. It's like, do I give my cup of love? Do I not give my cup of love? Do I get advice here? You know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces kind of energy here. I feel like if I look at this card, this person's being patient here and they're trying to figure it out. They're just like, I, there, it's like almost like there is this nurturing kind of energy here because I see the Taurus symbol as well. The Taurus is, Taurus energy is like a very grounding kind of energy. So it's like, it's a very grounded kind of energy and it's kind of like, what should I do here? Should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? I see all this beauty around me. What should I do? Yeah, look at that. See all this beauty around me and then I get the bouquet card energy. There's really something surprising about the whole thing. It's like, almost like, wow, I wasn't expecting this. There's something of value here. There's something of a gift about this. Really something of a surprise. And it's like, I don't know what to do here about this. Okay, so what's the blockage here? Hmm, traditional values. Could be the blockage for some of you. Something spiritual could be the blockage for some of you. Marriage could be the blockage for some of you. Yep, we got the commitment card, uh, some kind of commitment, some kind of commitment um, or marriage, engagement, some kind of commitment, marriage or engagement, uncertainty about that, okay, or someone could be in a committed marriage relationship, okay, so what is going to, uh, what does this person need from you in order to make the connection work well? They need a breakthrough. Okay, they need something that's going to really take them by surprise, something shocking, something surprising, something unexpected. When it comes to wishes and hopes here, star card energy, something hopeful here. So they need a sign. And that's basically what I feel like. I feel like they need a sign, a very direct sign here that's going to, you know, cause them to have a breakthrough. All right, so what's the influence here? The universe. Things are moving in your favor, or there's a sense the timing here. And the, the Lily's card energy shows me something to do with wisdom or patience around this. So patience, even though there's a sense of timing around this. Okay, so we look at this. Queen of Cups is saying, okay, let's figure this out. I don't know what I want emotionally. There's something really shocking and surprising about this commitment, engagement, or marriage, or something spiritual when it comes to these timings, or luck. There's something surprising about my wishes and hopes and this commitment here or commitment to gauge your marriage and there's a sense of patience or wisdom here. Okay, and we look at the numbers of this. Patient energy because of something shocking because of some sense of change and needing something completed here. Wow, okay. And if I see the tower card, something surprising, shocking about timing. And if I look at this, patient energy because of a commitment to gauge your marriage or something to do with traditional values. Something to do with a wish and hope for a long time, surprising about some kind of commitment. All right, so let's see, how do they feel about you? Okay, they have feelings for you. All right, you got the romance card. They feel that their feelings are real and worth exploring here. 
they do feel like they want to reach out and communicate this to you okay with messages news a letter a text message Facebook message so they want to send you a romantic message and possibly even take care of you financially money card energy okay well the bouquet card can say gift okay some kind of gift all right um, all right so this person feels like they want to communicate uh, a romantic message and something of value all right or they feel like money and finances is hindering their romantic love life all oh, okay this person feels like they want to make a decision very soon because they've waiting is over but they're uncertain if you have the same kind of feelings for them okay and this person does feel that you're their soulmate connection this person does feel like it, it's a connection that has emerged from a past life whether that be on a conscious or subconscious level there this person feels like they can't be honest with you deception okay about their happiness because of this confusion about whether or not you have feelings for them okay because obviously the central issue of this is uncertainty is this a true romantic connection because it's unclear and a deeper understanding is required that's why this person needs a sign to make this connection work and something hopeful around it right something to do with wishes and hopes for a sign so if we look at it all the way through here just to analyze it further they want to communicate something very soon about their happiness and the soulmate connection they feel like there's romantic feelings but they feel like they can't be honest because they're confused because there's something to do with money and finance that's involved with the situation that's interesting yeah let me know about that in the comments below um, okay so the decision they're going to make is very soon because of something to do with money and finance and the sense of confusion there's a soulmate connection here they feel like and they feel like there's romantic feelings but they can't be honest about that they have they feel like maybe things aren't as they seem okay all right let's see what's gonna happen here let me just move this out of the way okay so let's see the outcome here between the time periods of April 22nd to May 5th Wow okay so what's gonna happen here there's regrets here regrets about what has happened in the past there's a sense of loss whoa okay but someone's rushing in here knight of wands energy because <laughs> they, they're wanting love and abundance here okay so there's regrets here that's going to happen but there is going to be some rushing in some yeah chemistry and passion rushing in there um because this person wants to take care of you empress card energy or they find you very attractive mm-hmm okay all right so let's clarify further there's regrets about house and family <laughs> yes this time the whip card definitely represents instead of hurt and pain it definitely represents in this case scenario since it's clarified by the knight of wands <laughs> the whip energy represents you guys are going to have some passionate exercise coming up okay all right um but we do see some blockages delays and challenges okay so i'm going to read it all the way through and i'm going to read it a couple different ways here okay someone's regretting about this uh, lack of commitment because of love and abundance um, there's house and family and arguments and disputes about this block and challenge um, I can also see it this way there's regrets here and then someone decides to take an action towards what they feel passionate about chemistry and passion they actually take an action abrupt action in that way because of this love and abundance here or wanting to start a family and we see house and family something close to home some passionate energy here <laughs> with the whip card energy can cause blockage delays and challenges is going to cause some blockage delays and challenges okay and let's keep going here there's this message of love or potential for love and having the sense that there's something ideal here with the ma magician card energy and there's some sense of arguments and disputes about it oh oh my goodness there's a reconciliation or a sense of luck when it comes to this communication so they want to talk and speak about a reconciliation and they're going to take an abrupt action knight of wands energy pay you a visit here knight of wands energy yeah this person is coming towards you because they have regrets they're going to send you a message of love they have regrets about house and family they want to reconcile with you and yes it's going to be done in a very passionate way 
It may cause some arguments and disputes, but they definitely feel like they want to start a family with you. They love you. They have a sense of love and abundance here. And there may be some back and forth energy about this visit uh, or this news. Okay. All right. Yes, guys, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. We're going to now jump onto our singles. Feel free to check out the singles. Okay, you got a very interesting next couple weeks, though. We see there's an opportunity here. Mm, passionate in nature. Okay. There's lots of regrets, which is going to cause this abrupt decision here. Okay. Move this out of the way. So it's gonna have my Sagittarius singles romantic love life for April 22nd to May 5th. It's gonna have my Sagittarius's singles romantic love life for April 22nd to May 5th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's gonna happen? My single Sagittarius romantic love life for April 22nd to May 5th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there's some stuff going on at work or you guys are focused on work or school. There could be somebody who may pay you a visit here or give you some kind of news at work. We see the blockage delay and challenge is something to do with money or family and long-term commitment. Yeah, the fish card is, is saying money. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, money and finance here as part of the blockage delay and challenge. So we see the influences, a lot of waiting around to see how things are going to play out here for some sense of healing and recovery. So you guys are, there's a lot of focus on pentacles here. And, but there is an opportunity, okay? Because I see the one card energy and putting the work or effort into that. Someone is checking you out, okay, at work or school here, okay? Because it looks like you guys are just focused on money and finance there. That's part of the block and challenge. And there's like a lot of waiting around. Okay, let's see how this is gonna play out here. Let's see the outcome here. There is something to do with marriage or commitment and getting over this hurt or pain, Ten of Swords energy, because something is ending to start anew, Death card energy. We see that there are some burdens and challenges when it comes to this opportunity that's a bit of a surprise here. Okay, so it looks like um, there is a person that is interested, there is an opportunity that may surprise you, but it looks like somebody's coming out of a marriage or something here with the Hierophant card being there and and or there is something spiritual here and there's a sense of completion that has to be completed. Something is going to be restarted here though because the death card's there. You know, there's a reset happening. There's something that's ending. There's some kind of time period that's ending the start anew here because it's like there's burdens and challenges to a commitment or something to do with marriage or something spiritual there. But something is going to come to a completion for you guys and bring in an opportunity because this ending to start a new or this reset is going to really be surprising. There is attraction here. Or it's going to be through socializing or for some of you. You can read this another way as well. Spiritual opportunity through socializing. Okay. Because the cross card energy for Lenormand represents something spiritual. We see the Hierophant that's confirming against spiritual opportunity key card energy or something important about socializing here or something surprising something takes you by surprise or some kind of gift okay i'm going to clarify further about the death card energy yeah there's some kind of indecision or crossroads here two of swords energy there is an opportunity of true love here ace of cups energy oh my god the ace of pentacles is coming out too oh my god so you guys are going to have to make a choice here that could also explain that death card energy. Something needs to be accomplished or completed here. Something ending to start anew. Socializing here, bouquet card energy. So burden and challenge is an opportunity because of socializing. There is this commitment to end something, complete something because something needs to end to start anew. There's indecisions because there's an opportunity of true love that needs to be revealed here and an opportunity of some kind of long-term commitment. Let's pull one more card. You guys literally have three aces. Ace of wands as well. Oh my God, Jesus. So you're at a crossroads because you have an opportunity of true love, an opportunity of potential long-term commitment, an opportunity of passion there. Wow. Okay, yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me just pull some more Lenormand cards here. Yes, there's something hopeful. Long time, patient energy, 
some improvements and changes here store card energy it looks like you guys are going to go through a, a transformation here something's really going to change here you're going to have a sense of accomplishment and sense of completion because there's some decisions choices about opportunities coming up for you guys okay alrighty I love you guys so much if you guys like that hit that like button let me know in the comments below I'll see you guys in day, another day or two with your weeklies yes stay tuned for your monthlies yes get more information what's going on here I love you guys so much thank you to my members and I'll see you soon